Hi everyone, I'm Maddie. I'm Greg. And welcome back to my channel. Today we want to find. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> what I was trying to say was, today we want to find out, how, how does rice, rice grow? grow? Rice is one of the most important foods in the world, because for two thirds of the world's population, it makes up the main bulk of what people eat on a daily basis. Rice is a plant, and when it grows it looks a bit like grass and it grows pretty much anywhere, as long as it's not too cold. However, most rice grows in a paddy field. So what is a paddy field? A paddy field is a field that is normally flooded with water. And it's flooded with water for two reasons. The first is that it gets the right temperature for the rice. So it means it's not too hot in there and it's not too cold, perfect. And the second is that the rice loves growing in water, but the weeds that could grow up and get in the way of the rice growing don't like being in water. So the water gives the rice the best chance to grow big and strong. We are in Bali and here in the mountains you get lots of terraced rice fields and that's when a paddy field has been cut into a hillside to look a little bit like a set of stairs but how does the water get into the fields right if you look down here below you there's a little waterfall now the top layer of the rice paddy has been filled up by either the water from a river or from the wet season from a monsoon and then you can open a series of gates and it just runs down these waterfalls and floods the next level down so it's really controllable super simple <laughs> but not all rice paddies are terraced. We want to head down the mountain and show you every stage of how rice grows. Mads? Yes? It's time for a road trip. Paddy fields are terraced. Some of them are flat, just like these ones we found here. And this is where a rice plant will start its life in this area. It's called a nursery paddy field. It's just like any other paddy field, it's just a lot smaller. Come with me. The first stage of growing rice is to plant a rice seed. And those seeds need to be soaked in water first, but when they're ready, they're then hand planted here into a small nursery field. And this is where the rice seedlings will grow till they're about one month old. And these look about ready to go. They'll be collected into bunches and then taken to a larger paddy field and there they'll have a lot more space. Should we go find one of those fields? Yes. Okay, let's go. Oh, they really are muddy. Look at these. Okay, do you want a hand? We are on the side of a main road. But we've just spotted a guy plowing a paddy field. He's plowing, so. we're gonna so go we're ahead. Going in. that Greg is so ably demonstrating for you right now is to prepare these larger waterlogged fields for those one month old seedlings. And ploughing just turns over the mud and that gets rid of any weeds that might have started to grow whilst the field was empty. So it means when you then plant your little seedlings, they get a head start on the weeds. He didn't fall in. I'm quite impressed. How was that? Come on, my friend. Yeah. This guy 
guy must have arms twice as long as me though, because I was I like this. I was trying to hold on to the end going, please funny. don't fall in. It was like please watching don't watching you learn to walk. It was hilarious. Was I good at it? Yes. yes. It was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's it. Yeah? Yeah, thumbs up. Did I enjoy? Oh, it's great. Yeah. An amazing experience. Slap the piggy. So we've just jumped off the bike and ran down to this paddy field because this couple here are planting the little one month old seedlings and they're putting them in a field that's recently been ploughed. And you can see they're planting them in perfect rows, actually with quite a lot of gap between them. And that's for two reasons. The first is that there's got to be enough space because they're going to grow to be about a metre high. And the second is that a few weeds will crop up and they need some space to be able to walk through and pull out those weeds. Look how quick they are. Very cool. So where's next, Mads? And so next, we need to go find ourselves some fully grown rice plants. have here is rice that's about three months old and this gentleman here is harvesting it by hand all over the world a lot of rice harvesting is done with a big harvester but here in Bali it's done by hand with a sickle. Can, can I try? Can, can I? Yeah. What do I do? Hold and then pull? Okay. Okay. All right. So he was holding it just below the rice grains and then cutting. It's okay? <laughs> yes. So these plants are three months old and the rice has fully developed on top. And you'll see that it's yellow, it's got much darker, and it's big and heavy, so it starts to droop down like this. And then it's all about just grabbing it and cutting it carefully with a sickle. I'm gonna give it back to the professional. <laughs> Dream of Cathy, fix it up. What an amazing day this is! <laughs> but Mads, I see a machine. Yeah, that's causing some noise. When the rice is ready to be harvested, the paddy fields are drained of their water to make it easier for the workers to cut the rice. And then that rice is taken in a bag to these workers over here and they're doing something called threshing and they're using a machine to thresh the rice plant. So let's go and get a closer look. I think their motor's just bust. Yeah. Hello. They're fixing. The thing is with machines, they often break, and in the case of this one, it seems to be running a little bit low on petrol, um, so they're trying to get it started by hand. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! <laughs> <laughs> Someone, and so you're shaking yeah, it like this? Can I go? Yeah. How do I do it? Like this? <laughs> yeah? Yeah? Okay. Oh, she's a pro. Ah, so that's how you do it. <laughs> so what's happening here is the rice has been cut down and it's been dried in the sun, but now we need to separate the rice grains from the husk. And this is what's happening here. So it's just the separation, and by sieving it like this, you're breaking apart the, the husk from the rice. Perfect. 
So once the rice has been dried, it's then put in bags where it can go to the factories and that's where it's processed and is turned into the rice that we will buy in our shops and we can eat. Yeah. Okay, here we have a nasi goreng. This is a Balinese local dish of fried rice. Um, so this is what it's all about. You have seen it from the very beginning all the way through to the plate, from paddy field to plate. It's How's so good. That? It's so good. <laughs> um, we really hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more just like this, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Never talk with your mouth full. <laughs>